Hello guys, how are you? Our today's uh, video will be about Mikhail Naima. Uh, but before we start, uh, please remember to subscribe in the channel, okay? Uh, Mikhail Naima was born in Lebanon on October 17th in 1889. He traveled to complete his studies in Ukraine, where he spent five years at the University of uh, Poltavia. During this period, he studied Russian literature and mastered the Russian language. In 1911, he moved to study in the United States of America and settled there for nearly 20 years, during which he obtained American citizenship. He joined the Pen Association, which was founded by the writer Gibran Khalil Gibran. In 1914, Naima released his first collection of short stories entitled Her New Year. In 1915, he published his second collection of short stories, The Baron. It was followed by many books, some of which were in English or Russian. In 1917, he published the novel Fathers and Children in which he narrated life in the East, and afterwards he wrote the play Jacob. He also collected his quotes in the book Generosity on the Road. In 1923, he published his book The Sieve, which was a critical book in which he expressed his contemporary critical point of view. In the year 1932, Mikhail Naima returned to Lebanon and settled in the town of Shakhrub. In 1949, Mikhail Naima launched his most famous novel, Al Arqash, through which he wanted to convey his ideas and opinions in life. In 1952, he published his famous book, Mirdad, and in the 1956, he published al akabir which was a huge collection of stories. In 1960, he published his uh, autobiography in a diary that he distributed into three parts and called this book 70, thinking that life was nearing the end. In the field of poetry, Mikhail Naima presented many famous writings the most famous of which are the poems that were collected in the book Whispered Eyelids Mikhail Naima's personal life Naima didn't marry, but he loved a Russian girl during his travels outside Lebanon and was unable to marry her. He died on February 29, 1988, at the age of 100, in the village of Ashakhrub in Lebanon, where he lived his most life, and the cause of death was acute pneumonia. Quick facts about Mikhail Naima. One of his last commandments is to leave the, uh, to leave the door to his tomb open forever. Perhaps the Russian girl he loved would come back to him one day. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please support us by subscribing in the channel. See you in the next video.